Our research is focused on understanding how brain networks support cognitive function and how this is disrupted in traumatic brain injury. How does the healthy brain work? How do different parts of the brain communicate with each other? Our lab at Imperial College London tries to answer these questions. We have psychologists, neurologists, neuroscientists and neurosurgeons all working together to understand both the structure and the function of the brain. Much of our work uses neuroimaging. There have been some really exciting advances in the way we can look at brain structure and function. One of these techniques is called diffusion tensor imaging. It is a type of magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, that allows us to visualize the connections of the brain. What you can see here is a representation of the wiring of the brain. The brain works by transmitting information through these connections. These structural connections influence activity in different brain regions. Activity in the brain can be measured using another type of MRI. This movie is taken from a patient lying at rest in the scanner, and we are taking pictures of the brain activity evolving over time. You can see patterns in the brain where activity is increasing and decreasing in synchrony. These are called brain networks. For the brain to function efficiently, the activity in these networks need to be tightly controlled. Different brain networks support different cognitive functions, such as memory and attention. Damage to these networks can be caused by traumatic brain injury, and this is what leads to memory, attention and concentration problems. What is traumatic brain injury? My name is David Sharp. I'm a National Institute of Health Research Professor. Um, I work in the area of traumatic brain injury. Um, these are injuries that result, for example, from road traffic accidents or falls or um, soldiers being exposed to blast injury in Afghanistan. Um, we're interested in why some patients have really very poor outcomes after traumatic brain injury. And we're using uh, advanced imaging techniques to look at the causes for that. So we're using MRI to map out the location of injuries in great detail and also using PET imaging to map out the location of inflammation. Traumatic brain injury is the most common cause of death and disability in young adults with an estimated 10 million people hospitalised worldwide each year and up to a quarter suffering chronic cognitive impairment. Traumatic brain injury causes diffuse axonal injury which disconnects the brain networks that support cognition. I've got short-term memory loss. Um, I can't remember any more than three numbers because my memory just goes. Um, I can't sleep and my moods, they're better than now I'm on uh, antidepressant tablets but I can just snap and not know that I've done it and I cry, I can't be bothered to do anything, I lose my concentration. How can we assess our memory and ability to pay attention? Simple neuropsychological tests can illustrate the effect of brain network function on memory and attention. These tests can be performed on an iPad or on the internet and are able to give us a full profile of someone's cognitive abilities. How can our knowledge of brain networks be used to improve cognitive deficits in traumatic brain injury patients? We're developing a number of treatments for cognitive impairments after TBI. One of these is based on the idea that detecting your current attentional state using electroencephalography, or EEG, and providing immediate feedback will help you boost your ability to focus. To showcase this idea, we've created a retro-styled EEG Pong game where players control an action with their mind. The person who is able to focus their attention the most wins. The game is fun, but illustrates fundamental principles of brain network function. Understanding more about how networks in the brain support cognitive function and how this is disrupted in traumatic brain injury will help us work out new ways of improving patients' lives after their injury. This is a really exciting time to be working in this area and we are optimistic of making progress.